Outlets and brought to you by Wesley and Austin. <laughs>shining sun shining it's cold this morning well it was in the 20s so the top layer froze but not enough <laughs> oh. are we having fun yet maybe took Bonnie home and left her inside, but somebody must have let her out and she came over here and found me. Also, I just posted this on Instagram, but really, do you even own a farm truck if you don't have such things as spoons and thermometers sticking out of your vent? Just, just wondering. So, some families go Christmas shopping at like department stores and stuff. Not us. We go to a farm and shop for a what? No. Not a cow. A bull. A cow's baby daddy. I made it to the bull store. <laughs> Now they're coming up. I bet you think he's going to get that thing. Yeah, we don't keep up with all the all the names of all the bulls. But anyway, this one's out of Niagara. He's small. I mean, he's young. So... We're gonna come back and get him. We needed something to breed heifers, breed two heifers. So that's what we're doing. And we bought several bulls from here and they all do good. You ready? You ready to leave in about a week? And do a job? We got a job for you. <laughs> Found another F2. <laughs> These guys just can't get along. 
Every morning. Oh, there's another one coming in. Look. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of entertaining. I mean, they're obviously not hurting each other. But they're not a green either. Is this what it means to be bullheaded? He's like, I'm out of here. My truck company. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little chilly this morning, isn't it, baby? Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard life. It's a rough life, isn't it, Bonnie? <laughs> Bonnie and I are just hanging, hanging out, waiting on the silage wagon, wishing that sun would actually like pop out and warm us up a little bit. It's a busy day after we feed all the cows, got to go buy all the groceries and cook all the things and wrap all the presents before I head to my family's for a night tomorrow. But it's going to be worth it because I love Christmas with my family. So that's what's shaking here today. Um, yeah, hope y'all are getting all the things done for Christmas too, because it's a coming fast. Well, I'm filling the Christmas crunch today, getting ready to go into the grocery store. Now that all the cows are fed, <laughs> it just came too fast this year, right? It came so fast. There were, it came fast and then I lost a week basically being gone and I just feel like I don't know, like I'm not going to get it all done, but I will, and it's going to be great, <laughs> and we're going to have fun in the kitchen this afternoon, doing all the things that we like to do, me and the kids, so may the force be with me as I go in the grocery store, though. I have a feeling it's going to be a little crazy, yeah. Okay, we're in the kitchen, right, boo? Um... Mm -hmm. There's one, there's only one baking, it's not even baking really, <laughs> tradition that I had growing up with my mom that we did every year. Here's the recipe. This is old school. Look at that. Peanut butter balls. It's what my mom, it was one thing my mom always made and I always helped her with. And now my girl helps me, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we're about to get our hands, excuse me, messy, messy, and then we're going to roll some balls, dip some balls in some chocolate and see what else we might be able to get done this afternoon. We're working on a tight schedule because we leave to go see the grandparents and the cousins and the aunts and the uncles tomorrow. The family. The family. That's... <laughs> That that would be an easier way to say it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's four ingredients, five ingredients, peanut butter, margarine, margarine, no, we're using butter, butter, real butter. What's margarine? It's fake butter. So we're not doing that. Um, I'm glad, she, I'm glad my daughter doesn't even know what margarine is. Uh, powdered sugar, and, oh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. and wax. And y'all, this wax, this wax, wax is probably 15 or 20 years old. I don't know, but what? luckily wax, yeah, wax doesn't go bad. I only use it once a year. So it's literally a block of wax. Yes, you eat wax. It's good for you. It's fine. No big deal. All right, let's see what we can do. Yeah, this shit, you should... Find this fun. Oh, oh. it looks like poop. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Not really. You gotta mix it all up good. You try to keep it in the bowl. That would be good. That'll be today's goal. Today's goal. Keep it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. It looks like poop power. <laughs> it looks like poop power. Awesome. Like stop. Poop okay, power. stop saying the P word. You just said pee. <laughs> oh my gosh, cooking with children. You're doing good. You sure are a big help. It gets kind of monotonous, doesn't it? 
big word. You reckon you know what that means? Nope. <laughs> Boring doing the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. But you're doing good. It'll be worth it, right? Yeah. Especially when the chocolate's on. Especially when the chocolate's on, that's right. Austin Gray. <laughs> okay, well that's just fuel to get more rolled. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Clara said she wants one. Not right now, baby girl. Maybe later. <laughs> Okay, so what do farm kids do for fun? After they've had their time in the kitchen, they do this with a blower. Basketball. Okay, okay, for the basketball. They don't have a blower. Like at the science center, they said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today's science lesson brought to you by Wesley and Austin. <laughs> okay, now the really fun part, said sarcastically. Um, melting the chocolate with wax. That's right, you put wax in it, it helps it. I don't know what it helps it do. Hold together. I reckon it's what my mom always did. And my uh, fancy smancy homemade double boiler. Boiler? Broiler? I never know how to say that. Um, yeah. So, we're getting there, kids. We're getting there. And that's a wrap, y'all. Or a roll. Yeah, that's a roll. If I don't see you or talk to you before, Merry Christmas from our family to yours. We hope you have an amazing Christmas. Remember the reason for the season. Truly thankful for the gift of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that's what it's all about. What do you say, Bonnie? Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. And we'll be back with more... Farming? Cooking? Who knows? <laughs> See you soon.